All you're going to need to be able to do is really working backwards. Write a polynomial of least degree with integral coefficients that have the given zeros. Uh, let me backtrack for a second. Now we're... So up here, I realized that when I did my synthetic substitution, when I plugged in 1 as my multiplier uh, and it got a 0, it produced a 0. x equals 1 is an answer. When I put 1 into the function, it equals 0. That really comes from the factor x minus 1 because 1 minus 1 is 0. Just like when I got x equals negative 1, that literally, you see, came from the factor x plus 1. Down here, they're giving you the roots, the zeros. They're saying, you know, I got some nasty polynomial. What makes it equal 0? Well, when x equals 5, and when x equals 4, and when x equals negative 1. Well... The factors of this polynomial we can find from the roots. If x equals 5, if 5 makes this polynomial equal 0, one of the factors must be x minus 5. And if 4 makes the polynomial equal 0, x minus 4 must be one of the factors. And if negative 1 is one of the zeros, x plus 1 must be one of the factors. So this polynomial has three factors, x minus 5, x minus 4, and x plus 1. And now we're going to write this polynomial not in factored form, but in standard form. So I need, just now need to multiply these factors together. Focus on only two at a time. So multiply those factors together. You're going to get x squared minus 5x minus 4x plus 20 which simplifies to x squared minus 9x plus 20. But then that still needs to get multiplied by this x plus 1. I like to have the smaller term out, in, uh, the fewer number of terms out in front. So I'm going to actually put the x plus 1 out in front. Mr. P, let me just erase all that. Um, I find that I shoot more accurately when I do this. So I multiply this x to everything here which really just, it's just a 1x, so it really just raises everything by the power or degree 1. So x cubed minus 9x squared plus 20x. Now I need to distribute the 1 through. So multiply everything here by 1. Sometimes people like to take this. Oh, I, they didn't break up. Uh, well, anyway, find your like terms. You've got uh, x to the third, uh, negative 8x squared, 11x, and 20. Oh, I think I said x cubed. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> um, all right, there is that, folks. So that is a skill that we need to be able to do. That's multiplying. Well, it's given the zeros, turning the zeros into factors by really doing the opposite, and then multiplying those factors together. How beautiful is that? All right. Last but not least, you're going to see some same directions given these zeros to find the polynomial. But you're going to have some imaginaries in there, folks. So again, when x equals 2, that's a 0. When x equals 4i, that produces a 0. And when x equals negative 4i, that produces a 0. So you know the factors are x minus 2 and x minus 4i and x plus 4i. And now multiply them together and actually focus on these two. Why? Because those two have I's with them. So, let's do some foiling. We get x squared, positive 4xi, and then we get negative 4xi, and we get negative 16i squared. So then we can simplify this. First, we have x squared. 
Then we have positive 4xi and negative 4xi. That makes zero xi's. Those are like terms. They have the, exactly the same variables and powers. So zero xi, which we don't need to write down. These are eliminated. And then here, folks, we need to think, oops, I want to change the colors. In this region, we need to think, well, we have negative 16 times i squared, which, remember, i squared is the same as negative 1. So really, that whole bubble equals positive 32. So we have x squared plus 32. That's going to get multiplied with x minus 2. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Negative 16 